Income Wheel Warriors by Kelly Phillips, Chapter 3, Redefining Success for Yourself. Even in America, there are barriers to achieving success. I've talked to people who grow up in average middle-class families whose standard of living would be considered decadent in most third-world countries, but they feel that they're poor and destined to be failures all their lives. I've talked with another who grew up poor with drug-addicted parents, homelessness, and neglect, but has achieved both financial and personal success that puts them into the 1% of upper-class America. If I asked you to name your career or financial goals, you'll probably tell me something that you believe with all of your heart. But if you could snap your fingers and achieve it, you'd be surprised to learn that you're not nearly as happy as you thought. That's because we're taught to look toward material things and career achievements to make us happy. They don't. They might give us joy and a feeling of accomplishment, but they often don't result in lasting happiness. Now, I'm no expert, but I have a theory based on my own experiences. After a lot of soul searching, learning, early failures, and some success, I was able to leave my corporate job to run my own business in 2014. But after a few short years, I realized that I wasn't happy. Was it a case of never being satisfied? Not at all. It was a case of not understanding my true goal. I thought that I wanted to be an entrepreneur and that being an entrepreneur would make me happy. But I was wrong. What I really wanted was two basic things, freedom and control. I wanted the freedom to arrange my daily life to suit my personal needs and the needs of my family. Now that might mean grocery shopping at 9 a.m. and working at midnight, but I wanted to decide. And I wanted control. I wanted to make the decisions about the type of work I'd take on, the people I'd work with, and how the work would be done. Because I didn't clearly understand that these were my true goals, I had built a business that didn't give me enough of that freedom or control. Therefore, I wasn't happy. In fact, I realized that I could even have a corporate job that gave me those things. I mean, it might be rare to find that, but it is possible. Once I was clear on my true goal, I was able to build a business that did make me happy. Even if you're just looking to add some income streams rather than build a whole business, understanding your true goal is important. Those income streams need to fit the life you want to live. If you choose the things that stress you out or don't make you happy, you won't be able to grow them into the financial security you're looking for. So how do you figure out your true goal? Will you start by envisioning the life that will make you happy? Then you think carefully about which aspects of that life are the most important. Complete the following two exercises to help you determine your true goal. Now, this first exercise is something you may have heard before. It's actually a pretty common exercise, but I will tell you that I did this exercise about three years before I quit my corporate job and I forgot about it. And about five years after that, I found it in a pile of papers on my desk and sure enough, it worked. For this exercise, I want you to envision the life you would have if you achieved your goal of being financially stable. Write out a description. Be really detailed about it. Sit and dream for a minute. What is it that you want? Do you want to sleep in every day? Do you want to get up at 5 a.m.? Do you want to drive the kids to school? Or maybe you don't have kids. Maybe you just want to sit on your deck and drink coffee for breakfast. Whatever your ideal day looks like, write it out. Take your time and really think about this. Next, you'll need to download the True Goals Worksheet, and based on your description, mark which of the goals are important to you. This will help you understand what it is you need to focus on as you're building your income streams. Of your most highly rated goals on the worksheet, which three are the most important to you? Keep in mind these three goals when you're thinking about taking on new ventures, choosing an income stream, or making important decisions in your life. These are your new litmus tests for making decisions about the work that you'll do. I'm offered new and exciting opportunities every single week. I meet amazing people that I would love to partner with, and sometimes it's very difficult to say no. Since I've determined the three most important goals in my life, I make every decision based on if it aligns with these goals. This method hasn't steered me wrong yet. While it's sometimes difficult to say no to a new and exciting opportunity, the relief you feel when saying no to the wrong things is palpable. The true goal method gives you a method to making those decisions in a measured way that keeps you from second guessing yourself and wondering, what if? 